Adiana to lock one on again. Gambling boat, I gambling fish. I sweet a jelly. Mbao, mammy open. Continental food, madam. Hello, sweet team. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sweet Ajele. You are here and I am excited about it. Thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, I share how to make our Ghana flour or savory chips. You can also call it savory chinching. This is absolutely delicious. So I started by grating one garlic and about a quarter of a large onion next in a bowl i'll add in some flour to that i'll add some salt and baking powder mix everything together until it is well combined then we'll go ahead and add in our butter and we're going to rub it in until everything is mixed in beautifully and we have a crumbly texture international food cartoon will show you how to make pizza pizza jala mango and ogro soup you know baba sushi and pastries all this and more sweet ajay This is the exact texture it should be like. So it is perfect. I'll make a well in the middle of it. And I'm going to go ahead and add in my grated garlic and onions. Now you may blend this if you wish with the amount of water that the recipe calls for. But remember that with the water, you're going to be adding it in little by little. So I think the grating method is the best method. And if you don't have a blender, you can still make this okay so i'm going to be mixing everything and adding the water little by little until i have reached the texture that i'm going for all right and i want it to be a nice soft dough if you make it a stiff dough it'll be hard for you to roll it out and cut it but if you make it the right texture which is a nice soft dough everything comes easy after that So my sweets, this is the exact texture that I'm going for. It is perfectly nice and soft. It is not stiff and it is not super duper soft that you can handle it. It's very malleable and perfect. So I'm going to divide it into three and I'll wrap it in plastic wrap and allow it rest for about 15 minutes before we start rolling and frying. Now, if you choose to keep this in your refrigerator, you may have to take it out 10 minutes before you begin rolling. That way it'll be nice and soft for you. So at this point, I just dusted my countertop dusted over the dough and we are rolling now the thinner you roll this the crunchier your chips will be and the faster it'll fry as you're rolling your dough always remember to flour the dough turn it over flour the other side flour your countertop this will keep it from sticking to your counter and after it's cut it will prevent it from sticking together and this is the thickness that i'm going for now to the fun part let's do some cutting the first way is with your knife and i like to cut this into about an inch or two sections depending on how you want to cut it if you're going to cut it straight down or if you're going to cut it on a slant so about an inch is good and as you stack them you want to dust it with flour to keep it from sticking together which will help when it's time to fry and then we're going to cut it on the bias which is on a slant just as you see in the video right here okay so it is fun you can do this but you can also use the scissors which is what i remember growing up my auntie will mix everything and then she'll cut it straight down for us and we kids will just sit there having fun cutting away we really really enjoyed that Our third tool 
is our pastry cutter which most people know it makes your life easy so we continue to cut on a slant this particular pastry cutter have two sides the crinkly which is the curly side and the straight side i usually use the straight side because i feel when fried the curly side doesn't really show as much so it doesn't really matter you can use either side it's pretty so yeah finally one of my favorites this pasta maker that i picked up from my local supermarket but i managed to find a similar one on amazon so i'll put it on my storefront for you to check out the only thing is that this gives you tiny chips very thin so if you want it thin then it is for you i did find one that is adjustable so you can adjust it to the size that you prefer so i'll leave both links in the description box for you to check out now if you don't want to cut in sections before cutting it into pieces you can cut long strips like this and cut across it so try all these methods and choose your favorites okay so it is time to fry i test my oil by dropping one piece of the dough into the oil and it should float up immediately meaning my oil is nice and hot so i lower the rest in gently to keep it from splashing and burning me i then give it a stir to separate everything and then i'm going to go ahead and lower the heat and have it fry on medium high or medium until it is nice and golden brown you do not want to continue cooking this on very high heat it needs to be high in the beginning just to ensure that your dough isn't absorbing a lot of oil to cause it to become oily you will not like it that way okay so you want to stir periodically until it is nice and golden brown Our chips is now golden brown so we're just going to go ahead and get it out of the oil into a paper towel lined tray and we'll repeat the process until everything is nicely fried up In the frying process your oil may begin to foam up it is the butter in your dough that causes that reaction now if you had eggs in it it'll be even worse when that happens you want to add in half the amount you were adding so right now when I added I realized if I add the same amount the next batch it will bubble over and I do not want that so once I get this out I'm going to be adding just half the amount that way even if it bubbles my pot will be able to hold it or you can use a bigger pot to contain that foamy bubbles all right don't panic it is okay when you're making ching ching when you have egg milk and butter all that combination causes that foamy reaction we are all done be sure to pair this with your homemade coated peanuts and you will not regret the combination <laughs> yes y'all just take a look at that absolutely beautiful and super duper crunchy that's what i'm talking about i hope you heard the crunch <laughs> thank you all so so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give your girl a thumbs up thank you share and subscribe if you have not done that yet if you're a new subscriber 
welcome to my channel this is sweet ajele thank you so much for subscribing and to the sweet team i love you all so so much until i see you in my next video stay safe keep loving each other and remember that the love of god and family is life's greatest blessing and guys ke onamini uchemi sweet mahabotu bye y'all